And welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. All right, before I do anything, I should remember to actually change. So what do I want to wear? You know what we could do? We could just go back to our very first outfit, like the default one we came in here. Yeah, you know what? It's been a while since we've worn this outfit. I completely forgot that was the haircut I had right now. I should get myself a new haircut soon. It's been a while. But yeah, we finished the final town request, so all that's really left is uh, seeing the parade and then seeing the ending of the first arc of the game. Alright, before we head to town though, let's go take care of some farm stuff first. Because I'm pretty sure we'll still have time to actually do stuff after, you know, the town event. But let's just make sure we do everything we can first. But yeah, like I said, I'm not replanting right now. I'm going to let the fields actually empty for once, and then starting in the winter, we'll just start all over. And actually have somewhat organized fields, maybe. Emphasis on maybe. Oh, hey, more star melons. Or sorry, jewel melons. Uh, these are done, right? Yep. Perfect. Slowly but surely, we are emptying out our fields. Let's also make sure we don't accidentally sell the uh, blue feather. That would be very embarrassing. I could always go buy more, but I would rather not go buy more if I can help it. Plenty of potatoes for next season, even though I don't think we actually need them. Okay, no. We don't actually need any more, more star potatoes, so... Just want to check one thing. These are spring and... Ooh, wait, summer. Why am I not planting these? Hmm. Hold on a second. No, seed makers are all full. Never mind. I was going to see if any of the seed makers were empty so I can put some more stuff in there or move one over. Nope, not yet. Gonna stop by here, grab some gold and silver. And probably some iron too. Oh, you know what else I should probably be doing? I should be converting these. Those are going to take a while, so I should probably get them started as soon as possible. Oh, nope. Yeah, I need to get myself another silage. Oh well. More rabbit fur. Alright, we'll let you all out. God, this barn's so empty. But it will be full eventually once we have more animals bred. get all of our milk. One of these days we'll get some good milk once we have more generations of animals. Although the question is at that point we might need to start the- wait what? I guess I got the milk. At that point we might have to start considering actually starting to sell some animals. Or getting more barns so that we can have more space for them. Either way, they both work. But yeah, probably won't be doing too much today. Because from what I remember, the ending of this game is like two days long. So we're basically just going to do what we can today. Uh, and then, yeah, probably not do too much after today. Or in the afternoon, I guess. We'll just make sure to get everything in the makers for now. There we go. Alright, let's head back to the summer area. Because I have more stuff I need to plant. Oh, what am I doing? I almost forgot my horse. 
Also, I'm kind of hoping some of the pineapple seeds will be ready by the time we get back. I do also have onions in storage I could probably use, too. Oh, perfect. These are ready. No, it's still not oh, completely empty. That's fine. Alright, take me back to Eversun Gardens, please. Oh, I should move this, actually. I didn't realize it's literally on the spawn point. Because, yeah, listen to that music. That is definitely very Friends of Mineral Town-esque. Alright, so it's a 5x5. Five five. Oh, I don't have enough water for this, do I? I should move my well. I should make another well. What do I need to make a well again? Is it just stone? I didn't bring the silver. Whoops. Oh, wait. Can I even make a well? I might need to buy a well. Yeah, I think that's one of the things I need to buy. Okay, never mind. Uh, one second. I'm gonna head back real quick and grab some water. Whoops. Actually, you know what? I'll do that later. One thing I am doing today, though, or right now, is I'm going to town and I'm gonna go watch a parade. I worked hard to buy all those treats. Why are you all wearing costumes? I forgot about that. Sure, I'll lead the parade. Just realized my hair color kind of resembles a black rabbit. It is a literal animal parade. It's a very slow parade, though. I'm gonna be honest, we don't actually have a ton of streets in town, so we're just kind of doing laps around the city. Also, I'm kind of surprised he's not dressed up as one of the animals. But yep, that's the animal parade. And that is the final part of the, uh... Town development arc, I guess you could call it. Where am I going? But yeah, after this, there is still the ending to watch, which I think will trigger tomorrow. Hello. So I don't want to go to bed too late tonight. Also, give me that. I want a well so I don't have to keep running to get water if I need it. I shouldn't need it, but just in case of emergencies. Also, yeah, let me go grab my silver. I didn't realize I didn't grab my silver. Whoops. Give me those. Also, while I'm here. Do I need more gold? I don't even have enough gold to put in there right now. I'll put something in there later. Oh, I should also put away these jewel melons. They're kind of sitting in my inventory right now. Oh, hello. Carrot seed. Oh, this is done. Gimme. I'm taking this. I'm putting... I'm gonna put a seed maker in every single one of the seasonal areas, I think. And then we'll probably just have a couple seed makers on the main farm area, too. Is there anything else here that might be good for... Summer? Is this spring? Maybe I should plant some trees there at some point, too. I don't remember what seasoned peppers are, to be honest. I'll figure it out later. Oh, 
Okay, so let's put the maker... Put maker, like, over here, I guess. And then, let's see, we'll put the well down. Well, no, I want this entire area to be farming. Let's put the well in the corner over here, because we're not going to use it very often. Make me two. I'm going to be using the... Oh, I'm actually low on iron, too. There we go. Alright, so what do we got here? We got... Onion seeds. These are summer, right? I didn't just waste those. Spring and summer. Yeah, they're summer. Carrots are this season. And I have pineapple seeds. Okay. I don't think I have anything else I can plant right now. Nope. Okay. And then we'll just use the seed maker to convert these onions into seeds for later. Might be a waste of all my onions, but whatever. We'll have more onions soon. But I think that is pretty much everything I want to do today. And I do want to get the ending in this episode, so... Let's do one last sweep through of the area. Get what we need done, and then uh, probably head to bed. Oh, wait. Missed that. These are still growing, right? I know I accidentally planted something here that I didn't mean to, but... I guess we'll see what, they're, what they are once they finish growing. I think a lot of that is bok choy. Oh, actually, there might be some bok choy that might be overlapping with next season, too. Okay, as the fields clear up, we'll be sure to... Uh, to, uh, what is it? As the fields clear up, we'll be sure to start rearranging some stuff. Okay, uh, where's my iron? Apparently I am weirdly low on iron right now, which is very surprising, actually. I'm just so used to being swimming in the stuff that it's kind of weird that I don't have a ton of it on me. Alright. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, but I want to get to tomorrow, so bedtime? I really hope I'm not wrong about tomorrow being the day where the uh, actual cutscene triggers. Otherwise, I just wasted like half a day. And slept for what, 18 hours? Oh! Oh, crap, I was not planned for this. Uh, I don't have a name ready. I'll name you later. I need to take stock of what my names are at the moment. Oh god, I think we're under attack, actually. Great! What'd I do? Oh! We've become a cruise ship stop! Huh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. But yeah, we have become a big tourist attraction, so now the cruise ships are stopping by town. Specifically this ship, apparently. Also, these are literally the same five tourists we've been seeing all game. But we did it. We turned all of town into a tourist trap. 
Most games this would be a bad thing, but here apparently this is what we wanted. I guess it does bring a ton of money into the economy. Laura is going to be very busy from now on, huh? But yep, with that, that is the finish of the uh, first arc of the game. And originally the only arc of the game. Because the original game, basically that was the main story and that was it. Everything else would be after this would basically just free for all. However, in post-launch post patches, they did add an entirely new quest line after the ending. And that is basically going to be the rest of this LP too, because some of those requests can be really nasty, unlike the ones we've been doing. But yeah, overall, to be honest, when this game first came out, wasn't the biggest fan of it. It was decent, but there was not a ton of content. But they have been adding quite a bit patch to patch. We've already seen a couple of the uh, additional quest lines they've added. And they also did a couple of fixes, like the whole makers actually being able to queue items thing. Which is honestly a huge game changer that we don't have to constantly have like an entire field of makers. That you just have to constantly check over and over again. Because I'm pretty sure in the original they did not stack like that. I might be misremembering things, but I am 90% sure I'm right. But yeah, honestly, the uh, first part of the game kind of took longer than I thought it would. I did not expect it to hit 60 episodes already, or 60 whatever we're at. Uh, yeah, I might have overextended myself quite a bit over the first few seasons and done a lot every day, but... Hey, moving forward, that just means that we're pretty much prepared for the second half of the game. Also, this is about the point where I don't actually know the huge amount about the Spirit Quest, which is what the uh, Kogo Post game is called. I only know the basic items that you need for it. So, this is semi-blind, and by semi-blind I mean I've done my research and I know what's coming up. And I've also played some of it on my own. I haven't finished it. But I know enough. Also, are we gonna go through every version of the game? Okay, no, it looks like we're just gonna... Alright, it doesn't look like we're going to go through every single version. That's fine. Also, does Sega own Marvelous now? I can't remember if they're actually the parent company. Because I know they own Atlas. They might own Marvelous, which is why they're being created here. I'm not sure, actually. We'll get through the credits eventually. I didn't remember this many people worked on the game. There's X Seed. Also, yeah, another change they put in after the game launched is the whole dialogue camera thing, where it zooms into the person you talk to. Before, it would just stay the whole, like, static, isometric camera angle. I guess it's their way of trying to get around the fact this game doesn't have, like, character portraits like all the other games do. Which is still something I really miss. I mean, the whole zoom in still works, because, uh, what is it? A Wonderful Life did that, and we kind of let it get away with there, but... Yeah, they really need to have, like... Portraits or zoom-ins to for the dialogue. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to tell the characters apart. Gotta be honest, it's still kind of hard to tell the characters apart to, for me in this game. I don't know why. Like, I feel like the cast of this game is a little more generic than the other ones. I don't know if it's just nostalgia talking or it's, if it's like their designs. 
Because I'm going to be honest, a couple of the characters, I kind of don't remember if they're normal characters or of course when I see them. But it still has a pretty good cast. Also, we might start thinking about skipping these credits too. You know what? No, we're going to go through the entire credits. We owe it to the people who worked on this game. And every version of the game, apparently. I wonder if I'm getting the full credits because I'm on the PC. Because, yeah, I don't remember... Well, I was going to say, I don't remember the Switch version being this long, but I think I also skipped that version a bit, so... That might not be the best frame of reference. Huh. Usually the end is a special thanks, but I guess not this time. There we go. Alright, and with that, the town development arc is done. This spit me out the it spit me out the next day. Okay, that's fine. I think I missed a day of work, but Ooh! I could have sworn we didn't unlock this till later, but okay. Okay, apparently this starts immediately. I could have sworn we had to wait a day or two. But, uh... We've unlocked the spirit quest immediately. Yeah, I could have sworn there was a delay, but oh well. So, now that we've beaten the first arc of the game, the true Olive Town starts here. So, unlike the town request, like it said, we need to donate everything in the re that's requested. Not just the... Uh, just, we don't have to do one of them. We have to do all of them. In fact, hold on a second. I think the first one is actually pretty easy. They get, like, slowly harder and harder. And start asking for more specific and more rare items. But I believe the first few are pretty easy. So let me check that. Oh, wait. I forgot. Town Hall actually doesn't open at 6. Okay, you know what? We'll check that next time, then. So, next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons Pioneers of Town, we're going to start looking at the Spirit Quest. So, till then.